This is awesome. This is what we need more of. Oh, there they go. As you can tell, Haas has been uh, playing in the water. A lot of them have been actually getting in it. And I've had experience with this. These calves are yearlings now, and um, these critters love getting in the water. And you can see they've just made quite a mess here. And every time you fill it up, they just hop right in it. Hey guys, Dusty Becker with Cross Terminus Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Hanging out with the South Dakota calves and the Wolverine bison from Canada. Uh, if you guys are just now joining us, we've got 21 calves here from like I just said. Uh, I've got some from a friend in South Dakota. I got 11 of them. I've got 10 heifers and I've got a bull right here, Mr. Haas. He's got the green tags. If you haven't joined us, subscribe, follow us along guys. We're raising the American bison right here. Here we go again. It's been a couple weeks and we just let the Big Joe herd out in the pasture, um, in the new pasture, what I call pasture two, for the first time ever. Um, and that's so fun getting that rotation started. But now it is time for them. It is the calves turn. So where these guys are actually going is they are going to replace the Big Joe herd in pasture one, which is where they came from. So this specific pasture has had about three weeks of recovery time. And what happened in that, <laughs> In that time frame was we got a lot of rain. We got some good rain. It was very beneficial. We still have lots of spring grasses and then also give us a little push um, as the summer grasses start to come in. So good timing for the rain. We still need it. We're still in a drought. That's just part of it. Here we are again, the exciting part. We're about to rotate these calves for the first time. They're going out on the pasture. And uh, as you know, it's one of my favorite things to do. And of course I told you, I was going to share it with you and every time that we rotate the bison we're going to bring you along on that so here we are we're going to rotate the bison and we're going to rotate these calves they've been hanging out in here and i've been letting them out in this little paddock to graze it down they're my lawnmowers basically so that's what i'm going to do right now let's let these calves out and pasture one The golden nugget. What are you doing, buddy? They sure didn't go far, did they? They sure didn't go far. I had a guess that some of them would stop and just eat. They may kick it in gear here in a second. Oh, there they go.
I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I had to get the drone back as soon as I could because it just started pouring down rain. And uh, I guess I need to talk about getting rain more often because it is coming down. Just a random shower. I have no idea where this came from. But, uh, ooh, you can hear some of the uh, hail hitting this tin roof. There's some decent sized hail. I'm going to have to look and see how big these guys are. They're bouncing off the barn. Oh, there's a good size. Wow. Let's go out here and look at these. <clears throat> look at this, guys. Look at that. That's pretty good. That one's not very big, but it's so random. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Yeah, they're bouncing right off that and coming down here. Oh, there's some good ones. Man, look at these. Wow, that is almost a ping pong size. Ugh. You can hear it hitting that storage unit over there. It's pouring down rain over there at the storage units, but not here. This is awesome. It's calmed down some, so I'm gonna come back here and check on the herd. Oh, they're all doing good. Well, I'll take that. That's a uh, very nice way to kind of top off the cats out in the pasture that is good stuff right there we got hell we got a good burst of rain we got some beautiful clouds up here and we got the beautiful bison out here doing their thing check that out it's good timing right there uh, I, I saw the rain before it uh, with the drone before i even could hear it or feel it so um with that right there but got that sucker back in as soon as i could but get some more rain for this beautiful grass very thankful for this guys i know there's places out there that aren't getting rain i know you're dry and uh times are tough i, I do realize that we went through this last year but uh, this is a good jump start uh, especially to keep going for our spring but um also for uh, a good push right into the summer so these calves i was kind of surprised they did run for a little bit but once i told you they come out here, they hit that green grass, and uh, they're like, hmm, this is pretty good. And then uh, once they figure out, we're free, it's, uh, it's time to go. Uh, it takes one or two to kind of pick up the energy, get the momentum, and then they just take off, and I love it. And uh, that just takes me back to, that's history, guys, <laughs> right there. That is a living history. This animal almost disappeared uh, from, from us, and... Um, just very thankful for them and you get to get, see a cool experience like that and it just brings back that history and you can imagine seeing them uh, roaming thousands of acres with no fences no people maybe just the natives but that's it and um, what a beautiful sight that uh, that have been but we get to catch little glimpses of that they're actually running a little bit right now um, they're really excited and uh, you saw what they did. The first thing that they always do is they go check your fences, they go check your corners and to make sure everything is in good shape. And uh, then when they got to the furthest corner, the second time that they put the brakes on, I was getting pretty nervous actually with the drone. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope they see that fence. Um, because the big herd, the big Joe herd showed up there at the same time too. I did want to show you guys, you can probably see a lot of this plant, and I've showed this before, but this is wild indigo, and they have these pretty uh, yellow blooms on them right here, and uh, they are a pretty plant, but they are a weed. It's kind of going a little crazy here in this uh, part of um, Murray County near Sulphur Davis, um, but what I wanted to say is we've wanted to, we've talked about spraying these guys but um some of you may happen to know um, we're working with nrcs on some stuff what we're going to do is we are actually going to 
not spray this because one of the critters that it may harm if you do spray is the dung beetle and that's something that we don't want to get rid of we want to keep the dung beetle around so if we did spray we may lose the dung beetle but that is something that we're trying to work on with the NRCS so we're not going to spray these this year they're not very harmful they do take up some of your grazing so your grass can't grow and the bison will not eat it it is pretty to look at but um, it is not something that we want here so we're going to let the bison take care of this and uh, hopefully it will slow down oh here comes some more They found all the rest of them. They're hanging out with the big herd over there. So hopefully we'll get these. Uh, these guys will slowly start to disappear. Is what we want. We, we we're gonna try not to spray them, um, so we can help bring back the dung beetle here, which will help regenerate this landscape and make this a bison country. What we want is more native grasses. Uh, for these bison and they will be able to sculpt this land over time the more time that we have them as long as we're getting this place um, giving it rest time giving it rest stages um, we want to try to turn this into a complete native pasture which is what those guys need I don't know about you, but that looks like a herd out there. When you uh, see <laughs> 21 of them and then they mix in and then they get up really close with the Big Joe herd, uh, they actually look, it looks like a herd out there. I'm not used to having a big groups like that. So uh, that for me is fun to see. And the other part of this, I know I always mention this, but uh, another cool part is uh, Marissa is here to see it. She was behind the camera on some of this stuff, hanging out with Brooks and keeping her safe. But um, she was here to uh, be a part of this. And then Kevin showed up as well. So um, it made the day even better. Hey, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon.